Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and I'm back with the second episode of my AFL Live career mode with Carlton. So there's a few things I want to talk about before I get into the match. I've been playing it a lot, and it seems this game is way harder. So I've pushed it back to medium right now. And also, I was one of the better players on the first AFL Live game. I was really good at the game. I was on the leaderboard, a couple like online especially. I went through a lot of games unbeaten, some good streaks as well. So I would imagine out there, um, people who's watching this right now, if you forgot the game, uh, what level are you playing on? And if you're playing on hard, do you find it really hard? Because uh, I am right now especially. Um, but if it gets too easy on medium, I'll push it up definitely. Uh, but I've had some matches on medium and it's really close. And at least from a viewing point of view, if it's the matches are close, uh, that's what you would want to see. And also, I'm doing this live and you probably notice you might hear my control slightly and that kind of thing. But I think it'll be exciting to do live. But leave your comments uh, to see what's best because then you can get my live reactions, not just me commentating over the stuff I've already recorded. But uh, yeah, leave in your comments uh, what you want. And obviously, there's heaps of stuff in here like matches and training. I might go through this more. But obviously, these players here have experience points. But I'm just going to play this match here because that's what I'm here to do. And I might edit out parts. It just really depends. Uh, yeah, I might edit out parts. See, some players have a lot of experience like Cruiser and Betts. Um, I'm just looking here to see... Okay, can I go to... See here? Oh, this will be good to notice if younger players actually get more. Or uh, if anyone knows, what is the like? What is it based on how much experience you get? But already I can tell it's a couple... Like Cruiser and Murphy, even though they're good players, uh, they're still fairly young in terms of football, like their age. Uh, and they have a lot, so maybe that influences, I'm not really sure, and Carlton as a team, we don't have too much, like, heaps young players in the team, so uh, I want to see my player that I created myself, how much experience do I, ex or do I just start with, yeah, start with just a low, but yeah, that's something you got to learn, I didn't even uh, do anything, so that doesn't matter, I'll go into the team lineup, and I'm pretty sure your team lineup doesn't save, unfortunately, at least what the matches I played so far, but it may be different in the career, I'm not sure, so here we've got Laidler, uh, left back pocket, then Jamison and Daigon as the back three. I think they can do a very good job. Uh, for me, Daigon and Laidler, uh, I suppose it's realistic because they haven't really played this season too much. So, But the way they played previous seasons, they deserve a high rating in my opinion. Uh, Scotland, big rating. You can really notice difference in ratings like with the quality of players. Henderson, he was actually good for me in the matches I played, like practice matches. And here, it's a pretty, like, it's interesting right here. We have three defenders that are... Uh, their natural position, or their preferred position, is a left half-back. So that's a bit interesting. So we've got Scotland and Henderson. Uh, for me, Henderson is not a left half-back. He's like a centre half-back, in my opinion. Or a forward. He plays good forward as well. But here, the midfield. Uh, for me, the midfield is very strong in forwards as well. You've got Simpson, Gibbs, Carazzo. Uh, Carazzo, he's a very good player. Uh, as like a more defensive midfielder type, he's very good. Warnock, he's a big ruckman. So he's going to win the taps. He's got a low rating, but he's very tall, so he can win the rucks. But if he doesn't do good, uh, Cruiser will be coming in there. You've got Judd, of course. The midfield is really, really good. you got, like I said, Carazzo, Murphy, and Judd going in for the ball-ups, and they're going to get some good clearances, I would imagine, anyway. Uh, in the practice matches for me that I've played, just they're not actually practice matches, just playing offline and stuff, like out of the career. Uh, Robinson's really good. He can, he can mark it fairly good. He's fairly strong. Weight as well. He's listed as a left forward pocket, not sure about that. Walker as well, that's a good like half forward line in my opinion. They're very strong players and have good kicking ability as well. Then the forwards are very uh, very strong. I'm going to play Cruiser as the forward. I'm just going to, uh, as the full forward, I'm just going to see how it goes. Then going to have Betts and Gala at his feet. And yeah, that's going to be very dangerous. Then on the bench, we've got Armfield, Tui and Brock McLean and Troy Menzel as the sub to come on. But something I notice, I have it on auto interchange. So my players don't interchange auto. Like they don't come on, but unless I get an injury, they don't come on. So what I'm, I'm not sure other people have you noticed that your players don't interchange unless you get an injury. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna act as four subs basically. So maybe I'll make one sub late in the second quarter, another one maybe mid in the third term, and then another one late in the third quarter, then another one sometime in the fourth quarter. So leave you that. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's the only best way I can see. So. Um, yeah, that's the way I see it. And how do you can you select the captain here, or is it in uh, is it in another another thing? Uh, I remember you could see it last time, but I'm just really... Uh, manage team. Uh, can you go on training? Um, I'm not really sure. But Murphy should be the captain anyway, so I'll probably see it later, and then I'll... Cha I wouldn't want to change it anyway. Murphy's the captain in real life, so I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to be going to the first match. So, uh, team tactics. This is something you've got to see. A short passing, yes. Yeah, so I like to go with that, especially with the this game right... 
compared to the first AFL Live, it's better. Uh, you can find targets, more short targets better, and that's how I look to play. And this pressure, I'm not really sure how's this right now. It says your team's presence will be evenly spread when moving the ball up the field, favoring a mix of slow and fast pace. Yes, that's something I want to go for. And wide, yeah, I don't really want to go straight down the middle all the time. I want to mix it up going wide, so that's good. And that's going offensive, of course. And I'll mix it up to defensive. Uh, this is why I leave it on risky. Uh, your team will commit to tackles. I like to tackle a lot. And it, so that should suit. Even if it says risky, that just means lots of tackles pretty much. So that's how I like to play. Uh, pressure forward. Your team will focus their defensive efforts in and around the forward 50, pushing the halfbacks forward into the fence. Uh, so, obviously, that's good. You want your defending players in defense. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been losing my voice the last couple of days. But anyway, uh, our formation is the zone. I'm not really sure if that's what I want on man-to-man -man pretty much. So, yeah, I'll leave it that for now. This is just basically testing. This is like my first official career mode match. So, I'm playing on five minutes as well. So, this is going to go for about, where am I now with the recording? About five minutes. So, this is going to be 25 minutes if I don't edit it or maybe a bit longer. So, we'll just see how it goes. We got NAB Cup, the NAB Cup rule. So, uh, hopefully, we're playing at ANZ. In Sydney, so uh, to me, uh, GWS seem a bit better rated compared to we're only what a seven percent difference. So it might be closer than I expect. So uh, let's just see how it goes. Obviously, we're going to be Carlton. You see control option. Just want to check this out for people who haven't even got the game yet. You can see all this, um, all this vibration stuff. You don't need to worry about that. So I think we'll just play. And I'm still getting used to the control. So um, it's still, I'm still very vague about it. I've got to really. Because X is handball and there's three different kicking options. Like A is a normal kick, B is like a goal kick or a clearance kick like uh, from the ball up so you can just clear it quickly. And Y is kick to the lead, which I actually want to use a lot because uh, those are the most effective kicks when passing around the ground in my opinion. And not just a normal A kick because that's just like kicking it to a contest and your player doesn't really lead to it. Uh, so I would be fully expecting to win this first NAB Cup match against GWS. And that's why I put my best team out there. Uh, I think we have a second match against them as well. So I might put some younger players in there if I notice it's we have more chance to win. So I'll just go in here and nothing was really happening there. I was waiting for something, not sure. But here, Warnock in the ruck. I try and win it. And yeah, I had about, what, 15 games yesterday. So I'm pretty good. But I'm recording this in the morning. So I may have forgot the control slightly. But we'll just see how we go. And the contest, the spoiling is way better. You can hit it to advantage. Hopefully I can showcase that a bit. And I might change the camera so it suits me. Uh, it really depends. Yeah, you got to really uh, mix with the camera. And here, I'll do it with an on-the-lead kick. See, like that. And then you have Bet running onto it. Ooh, he didn't really <laughs> gather it the way I wanted to. And tackles is way different. You basically have to run. to. You can't keep holding A to, t to just tackle, uh, to abuse the tackle button. you just got to run and make your move at the correct time. And here, I believe that's Judd. And he handled when I wanted to kick it. That's exactly what I mean. Ooh. I really notice our already our pressure is good. Uh, you can see heaps of tackles, and that's the way I chose in the ta team tactics, as I showed you just before this match. So uh, it's good that it, that influences that. But we are playing very attacking, as you can see, and that could have been almost holding the ball. And I, I actually noticed a throwing the ball call yesterday, which is very interesting. I don't believe that was in the previous game. And yeah, you're probably going to hear my control, but I can't do that. You either choose it, like, do you want it to be live, or I find people would want it better. Uh, of course, he's going to mark this. But yeah, to me, it would be more exciting for me to do it live. And obviously, I can't really remove the controls. Punch. Oh, that was a good punch there. Not sure who it was. But obviously, you could see. And they're going to have the first set shots. And also, something I notice, uh, people have been having trouble with set shots. So I might do a tutorial on that if there's enough requests. But here, they're going to have a shot early. And GWS score the first goal by Taylor Adams. So that's what I've been saying. It's definitely harder. And as you can see there, for me, the ball physics are better. Like, there's different kind of shots. The balls get affected. They move more. And that's very good. So here, we've got to uh, get back. I had a couple chances, but really not knowing the, the controls probably really hampered me uh, in the first couple. Oh, high tackle there. See, there's, there's a few different calls. So here, again, we'll do kicking to the lead. Perfect. Weight should get this. No, nah, dropped it. And I'm still working on the timing and stuff. And not sure what that was. And now the ball's going wide. But Bet should pick this up. Have it. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the game. So obviously you're going to see me... Like, if you're watching this like a couple months later, you're probably going to think I'm pretty bad. But if you watch later in the season, no doubt Lee, I'll get better. So here, we have a chance for the set shot. Garlet. It's been pretty hard. you got to take into fact... you you got to take into... Take fact... You have to factor in uh, the win. So you got to... Yeah, you have to do that. Garlet, going to take this in. And you got to do it there. you got to push the sick... Oh, the wind didn't really show there. Oh, it's not much wind, is it? So maybe... Like I said, you still got to balance it. 
Uh, but at least at least it wasn't terrible. I've had some worse shots than that, and I'm sure people will be doing the same with me. Maybe we can go for the seven point play though. Uh, Warnock get the handball back. Oh. Okay, we should mark this. Layla, like I said, Layla, beast player. I'll look to play on and bring this in with the handball, and then look to go for a kick. Okay, that didn't really go for where I intended, but it might work out in the end. Oh, see, my, my players actually seem slower a lot of the time, even though I'm holding sprint, but I guess that's something you have to, you have to just practice with, I guess. Oh, here, Judd. Ooh, I didn't really notice their play coming up on me. Oh, come on. Judd, tackle. God, that has to be holding the ball. I can really tell. You can really notice. That was the difference between the last game. You couldn't really notice. Um, you couldn't really tell apart the best players from the worst players, but now you really can. Uh, I'm not focusing on that kick, though. That was probably my fault. But anyway, uh, here, Judd should spoil it again. Oh, I see exactly what I was talking about. Get it in, Judd, once again. I really probably will look for Judd to be, well, try and win him the brown low, but, oh, drop mark there. Try and hip and shoulder. Oh, great play, Henderson. Oh, see, I'm still struggling with the handball stuff, but here we should take them up. Whoa, okay. I, that should be Cameron. If it's Who's number 16? Um, does it, even show who, it doesn't even show Dalek. We just see who it is. I'm not too familiar with the GWS numbers. Okay, it is Cameron. At a, uh, yeah, and he's a right hut forward. I would imagine he'll be their full forward. So here, we haven't got to a great start. And it's basically me com being confused with the handballs. And I'm not knowing when to do it. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to win against GWS. But we'll see what we can do. Come Oh. I'm, but I, I believe I could... Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't got really any deliberate out-of-bounds calls. But deliberate behinds I have. Oh, yeah, of course, when it goes out. Okay, we'll just... Another kick to advantage. That wasn't really to advantage. Going to have to... Oh, spoil to advantage. There you go. Oh, again... Oh, I got past the player good, but then obviously I wanted to handle them, but my head just has to um, just register to handle when it's not really doing that. Murphy should get this. He's 96 overall. He's going to be a very good player. Now just kick to the lead. Nice little kick there for Carazzo. Oh, now I should run. And then then I wanted to kick it, but I handled. It just like mixed in my head. Oh, oh. Okay, two against one. Two against one, and the one wins out. And now we should run. Go with the handball. Now I'm really start. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it, so... I might edit it out because this part's pretty bad, but I might show it because there might be people in the same boat as me. Here, look to punch. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't mark it. Yaron gets away. Now run. And handball, of course. Yeah, I, I wanted to kick it, but just it's not in my head to kick it. So eventually I'll I'll understand what to do. You just got to get used to Because I play FIFA as well, and I've got all these different controls mixed in my head. So it's really hard when you do that. But here, we're going for a late opportunity. Uh, 20 seconds left, but obviously it's the real time. Get the handball off. So we're going to have a chance here. Try and hip and shoulder. Oh, Shepard off the ball. I thought you... Uh, you can't win with this game. You cannot win. Anyway, try and mark it here. We may have a late chance. No, nope, no chance here. Maybe unless we pick it up. Handball. No. Nah. Well, they may actually have a chance. Uh, but he won't... Oh, the siren went just before he marked it. <laughs> that was lucky. But anyway, it's only two goals. You can get that back quickly. Uh, and when I actually, I've had heaps of opportunities, but I've just uh, handled at the wrong times. And we've got a better midfield, way better. So uh, hopefully we should be able to get onto the ball here. Now kick it. Oh, hi. Fucking hell. You can tell, I never really get angry. I actually get more angry at AFL Live than I do on FIFA for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But here, Warnock making the intercepting mark. And here, look at all the players free. Just go wide here. Uh, take the mark. See, I like that, how you can have that possession play. And Gibbs... Oh, yeah, the kicking's terrible right now. Uh, you got to get used to it, like the timing and everything. So, that's something you have to factor in, I guess. Uh, Diagon coming in, should spoil, does. Yaren, I can tell he's been getting on the ball. Now kick it. Okay, Judd, he should... Okay, oh, that was lucky. Just bomb it long, wait. Again, it's a poor kick. I'm not sure if it's just the positioning of the players or it's pressure on the kicker. Um, yeah, either way, it's not really working the way I want. Oh, okay, this is going to be bad. They have a player alone. They have a player alone. He was always going to kick it there. Mark Yaron. Oh, well done. He even spoiled it to his advantage, even though it wasn't meant to, It was just probably a sp spilt mark in the end. But it's really tight and contested. So even if we lose this match, I'm still I'm still enjoying playing it. It's definitely better than the last AFL game. And yeah, I definitely enjoy playing it. So hopefully you notice that as well. Um, but yeah, I just got to get... My players seem to be behind the forwards. I'm not sure if I can fix that with the tactics. That seems to be the main reason uh, for me failing right now. Go for the punch. Tackle, that should be holding the ball, it is. Uh, Cade Simpson, fantastic player. 
Now, go for the long... Okay, that was a fail kick. But in the end, it might work out here. Might look to Shepard. Oh, that's where you use it effectively. Now we'll go with the handball run. Handball. F cool. It's really... Oh, I I'm really liking the game, but just things aren't happening my way right now. Oh, nice tap. Murphy. Put it in. Wait. Oh, what the hell's that? Judd. Kick. Oh, this is not going to be a goal, is it? No. It's bouncing the wrong way, but then it's bouncing back. Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh, it's a oh no, it's not. I'm not sure what's happening. But we might get a score. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, out of bounds. That That's probably a better result in the end, pretty much. But if it was a real AFL rules. But anyway, Warnock should take the mark here. He's the tall ruck. Obviously, he's probably not going to score from here. But I'm just going to show you how hard it is. Uh, you got It's really hard kicking, like I said. These tutorials, I might need to do something on it. Oh, yeah, he's a left footer, of course. No, he has weight. No. Uh, it would be pretty embarrassing to lose against GWS, but here, perfectly placed for Simpson to come in and mark. Uh, handball over. To, oof, well, I'm really frustrated right now. Just, It's not happening the way I want, but it's good to be... Okay, obviously, I have to know that's my free kick. So here, Bet's going to put it in on the lead. On the lead. What are we going to... Ooh, out of bounds. And now they get it, of course. Uh, and luckily, it's a, I put the time a bit longer, so I can at least come back in this, this match. Uh, that's something... Oh, oh, almost perky. But now, it's Betts. Is it... Oh, whoever that is. Oh, pressure, pressure. Nope. They're again alone. They find their players. But here, this is where we really man up on everyone. So it's like a one-on-one -on -one contest. And most of the time, we should win. Oh, I like that how you mark it and it doesn't end up being a mark. But obviously, you don't like it. But, oh, we needed to win that tackle. We had to make sure they didn't get the hand pass away there. Or they would have been away. Warnock, but no one was there. Warnock, go for the tackle. And, yeah, we just kicked it into space there. And, again, they have the numbers around the ball. But we should tackle there. And they're having... But when they stop and play, we get our numbers back. And that's when we should... Okay, they have a couple by themselves. But we should deal with this. Henderson, he's been really good. Oh, those spilt marks. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe I just have to hold it longer or something. But... And then they just get an easy goal. It just bounces to them like that. So, yeah, I'm, I have to learn this game. But I don't care about the NAB Cup. You don't win anything. NAB Cup is not important. So, I'm just basically just keep practicing the game. But I just wanted to make a video. So, this will be it. Oh, got closer. Yaren, go for the mark. See, I can't mark right now. I'm not sure what the problem is. But it's probably just me. Okay, we lost it again. We should get in for the mark. Nah. Uh, yeah, it's frustrating. Because I can't play the way I want to. Henderson. Oh, did you see that tap? That was good, actually. But I've noticed some other people play, and they've had some bad results as well. And, yeah, Taylor Adams scores another goal. But the thing is, luckily, I put didn't put it 2.5 minutes. Because, as I said, I might not have had time enough to come back, or I still do. But we win the ruck again, but it's just not happening. Oh, that should have been a ball. Gone again, but nothing came from that. And so I'm just going to try and get it to Judd and see what that can do. Okay, Murphy instead, just kick it long. Kick it long. This is what you have to do. Get it to Cruiser. Oh, what a mark. I'll be looking for Cruiser to win the Coleman, just playing him full forward. And the win, oh, I don't think... I'll just make it a little bit. The wind's going down anyway. I'll just do it like that. Charge it. Push the stick forward. And finish. I'm going to need a lot more where that came from. But Cruiser, he should dominate as a forward because he's got the height at 200 centimetres. Uh, for me, he's not tall enough for a Ruckman, 200 centimetres. Warnock is the best size for me. He's a bit taller. So you can tell I'm dominating in the ruck. I just got to get it to my players. That's pretty much it. So we're going for the comeback now. Oh, Judd, good tackle. You can tell Judd is really making an impact uh, in the midfield. Uh, Warnock to Judd again. Gets the clearance. And here we go. Kratzo puts it in. Cruiser. Oh, he couldn't get it. Get the tackle on. Ooh, intercept. It went back. I didn't mean to do that, but it might work out in the end for Andrew Walker. He's actually a good kick, but we're going to see. I might actually go for the torpedo. I'm not sure if you can do it from a set shot, but you hold LT for Xbox. Then just push it down and then push it up. He's a, oh, just putting the danger zone for bets. And that was easy. <laughs> um, for a small player, he's a good marker in the game. And here there's no win. So we're just going to have to go straight forward, finish, goal, Eddie Betts. We're st I'm getting used to it now, so I wouldn't be surprised if he can come back and win this. And yeah, that was a nice finish there, as you can see, straight through the middle. Uh, once you actually get used to it, it's fairly easy, at least from close. When you're like 40 meters, it's fairly hard uh, with the new way to do it. But I guess that's what you got to go with. Warnock going now. A nice little kick. It wasn't nice in the end. But they t it would be nice to have their names of the opposite team so you know who it is. But Because I'm not so familiar with the G DWS numbers. And the players don't really look like themselves, so it's really hard to tell. Uh, but I was happy to get those last couple goals matched. 
And uh, oh, we lost a. It's two halves, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that. So yeah, anyone going to talk about that? Yeah, I forgot it was two. It was only two halves. So man of the match, uh, Warnock number one, Judd number two, and Gillum number three. Uh, it's in order. It's not like in order of three votes. Number one is the best, obviously. So Warnock, I think that's a deserved. He dominated. So we'll go back. And how long is this video? Uh, yeah, 20 minutes. So I think I'll end it at that and then I'll just do the full thing. But I'll record the next one. I'm just going to leave all these finances. I'll fix that up before the start of the first round. And um, yeah, I'm probably just going to record. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to continue into the next match. But this will be in the next episode. So I'll well, move into the next match. I'm going to leave the team how it is. And obviously with the first match against GWS, that was a bad result. But you saw, like, towards the second half of it, we started scoring, but now it's Sydney. So, uh, at least for this NAB Cup competition, we've got to look to win against them. And then in the next match against GWS is going to be... It's going to be crucial to qualify uh, for... But I don't really care. I just, yeah, I just want to practice and that kind of thing. Because it's still the beginning of the game. But now, obviously, I know there's only two quarters. Well, I guess you can call it, two, like, a half. There's two halves. Uh, but obviously, yeah, there's two quarters compared to the four there would be. So here I'll be I'll definitely looking to play good. I'm, I'm getting more used to it, but now we're playing against a better opponent. So it's going to be a bit different. Yaren, and he still takes the mark. Very good. And here I should look to play it. A nice kick. See, I'm getting used to it now. So now, I know I keep saying it, but I should be uh, better at the game. Hopefully, anyway. It'll be nice to get a win. And my player couldn't mark it there. But Judd, again, you can tell, especially from the last match and this match already, he's getting a lot of the ball which he should anyway. And here, Yaren should look to spoil. Oh, they should have almost marked that. So that was a bit lucky in the end. Tries the clearance kick. Nice. That was a nice kick. And Kratzo picks it up again. I just want to kick it deep into the forward because that's how you... Yeah, that's how you get it. Garlet. I didn't intend to kick it there, but that's where it went in the end. And just chip it over his head a bit to try and get the shot on target for Warnock. And he's a left footer, so I might just have to go on his left a bit just to allow for it. But we'll just see. He's probably too far to score anyway. But we'll just see. Nice kick. Cruises there. But he couldn't get it. Ooh. It went through for a goal. Uh, but it was unfortunately touched through. Just blow the siren now and we get a win. Uh, anyway. Um, a very crucial. I want to win this match. Especially losing against GWS. Because it's a bit it's a bit different. People say you lost against GWS. It must be crap. But then I'll a win against Sydney. But there's a long way to go for that. Here, spoil Scotland. Um, not, and they took. See how I'm controlling this other player? I'm just really predicting where they'll pass it. So I'll see if I can do that. But of course, no one is in defense. And maybe that's where I should have put him. But he was in attack, sort of. Uh, or going a bit more forward. And here, of course, they score from their shot. From Mitch Morden, the center half forward. And you see this. I'll just show the replay so you can see it. And in the end, that was a, a well-struck kick, to be honest. So Swans are in front by five points. We're going to look to... Oh, not, see, we're winning the ruck most of the time. we just got to capitalize on that, pretty much. Or capitalize, I should say. Uh, Robinson going in for the contest should get the handball back. Oh yes, we should use advantage of our numbers here. Robinson go for the shot. This should bounce through. Mark it. Oh, oh a lucky bounce there. And Robinson puts us back in the lead. And uh, nice play. We had the numbers there. And let's focus on our team tactic. And just inside 50 there. So no nine pointer on that occasion. We got a bit of a lucky bounce for it to bounce through. You can see how it there it was uh, going across. Uh, across the face of goal, but then it just bounced luckily. So now, you you should probably really tell I'm playing better. So, just, you got to get used to the game. And that's the thing. Holding the ball, that's gone. And again, Murphy, just put it in. Put it in. Perfectly placed. Brock McLean, I'm not sure why he's in the centre-half forward position, but you just got to have your players rotating. That's gone. Oh, thought, maybe, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe someone got injured. I'm not really sure. But Judd kicks it. Lucky bounce again. Ha <laughs> ha, lucky bounce. Ah, uh, Judd. Again, that was a poor kick. Again, you got to take your luck. I didn't even press a goal shot there because I was just mixed with the controls again. But you get the lucky bounce. See Judd <laughs> bouncing. Yeah, Judd always gets a good bounce of the ball, of course. You can see more so on this there. Just bounced. Uh, perfect spin there. Or perfect bounce, not really spin. So here we're taking the lead. Very good. And I might not worry about making subs right now. Like, in the games. I'm, I'll just got to see how the games go. Now Judd again. Go for the shot. Oh, he got tackled. So that did affect the kick. Uh, so Cruiser, he doesn't have much speed. So he can't really catch up the players. Oh, gone again. Oh, seriously. That should have been throwing the ball or something. Then Judd. Bounce lucky. Oh, 
that's the thing more interesting about the games because it does do that you always think it has a chance to do so oh nice clean kick by them but simpson should make the spoil does but it's to their advantage a little bit but then we make the tackle simpson gets it back uh, but it goes to them uh, so we're going to get our players back again defend it well and here should look to make the spoil couldn't on that occasion uh, players wasn't really in the great position for that and here henderson again has to make the spoil it has to be a good spoil as well and it's his to his own advantage look to make the handball oh that was good until it was given away and no prior opportunity there so this game already it's more like a higher tempo i guess you can call it judd again making the handball to henderson running forward a nice run with the team but a pretty poor handball look to get it back okay another missed time handball ah tackle holding the ball and uh, Henderson, like I said, he's been a really good player for me so far in the matches I've played previously. And I think Jared Waite must be injured or something. Like, he must have not been selected for... I might have to check that um, after the match because I, I just went straight into it. Yeah, so uh, we'll just... Actually, I'm just going to end up doing this in one episode and leave your comments if you like a long episode, if you're going to sit there and watch it for long. But if you think it's too long... Because, um, yeah, just today, I just... In this situation... Oh, is that... What is this? What is this? It's a... I'm not sure what happened there. He just kept running. But anyway, yeah, leave it in your comments if you like these two episodes or two games per episode so I can just get through it quicker. Quick, I should say, but that was a poor kick. wasn't really concentrating. Um, but yeah, as I said, if you... Because normally I would do a lot of training stuff like the off-field stuff and that is a goal for Shane Mumford. That was my mistake, obviously. But yeah, leave your comments if you like these two unedited. If you like it, this will probably go for 40 minutes. Um, so right now it's a draw. Yeah, so please leave it in comments because if you watch my FIFA videos, I like to do what most of my subscribers want. And here, Judd running it in, running it in, kick. Eventually, we'll get it. Warnock, nice kick. <laughs> Warnock's never going to miss from there, even though he's not a great kicker of goals. He's never going to miss from that position. The two rucks combining and a nice finish on his left, kicking it into the crowd, as you see on multiple occasions. So we're back in the lead. Definitely, we're playing better in this match. This first quarter is definitely a good one. So here, looking for our players to get in. But right now, Brock McLean is our centre-half forward. It's not really mattering because we're just going to look to give it off to him here. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> Got all... Was that correct disposal? I don't believe it was. But anyway, just go with that. Here, I'm not sure. Oh, get it. Okay, whoever this is. Robinson. Fine, cruiser. Oh, I'm not sure what that was again. But he finds it back somehow, and we pick up a behind for Eddie Betts. Okay, I'm going to change that. I go into interchange. We have to do this manually, which is pretty messed up. But who's the best to put as a center half forward? That's the thing. Who do we have on our on our bench? I'm just going to bring in. I, put, I might as well put Hampson for Brock McLean, and we'll do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't go auto, uh, which is a bit of an inconvenience. But you just got to go with that. Um, and you can see the stamina. The stamina remains still fairly high, but Warnock is a bit lower. Um, you just got maybe I'll just yeah swap him with Cruiser. Maybe I'll just do that through the matches, and it would just get annoying to do it. I might just do it like once, like every two quarters or something, just to maintain the fitness. Swap like switch the ruckman around. Yeah, you just got to experiment and all that kind of thing. Robinson, who's been really good so far, and uh, Simpson. Oh, nice and Betts coming in. I'm not sure what kind of kick that was. But it ended as a goal. Uh, so, nice way to finish on the siren as well. Um, unfortunately, I have the sound of because the commentary is so bad. And, of course, I'm doing this live and I don't want it to interfere. So, yeah, we started off to a very a very fantastic start. You can see we're dominating pretty much. So much more handballs. So much more tackles. Uh, kicks about the same. And, your yeah, marks about the same as well. So, it's definitely a better start. And <laughs> you can really tell the difference. I just needed to get used to it. And now, I'm into it. Judd. Carazzo looked to play the ball, and that was pretty bad. The leading for the players don't seem too great right now, but I just suppose you got to really kick it to their advantage. Gibbs, yeah, that was poor positioning by him. Well, I guess by me in the end. Uh, but anyway, Yaron, he's been pretty good spoiling so far, and I think he's like against Lewis Jetta or someone there, or Goods in the end. Oh, it is Lewis Jetta. They look the same pretty much. It's hard to tell, but I should know the numbers, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on. Try and get the ball here. Tackle. We're doing very well. I might have to push it up to hard, but hard is going to be really hard. I've got to really wait until I'm actually dominating opponents, which is definitely not happening yet. Oh, oh, just clear it. Not sure what that was. Not sure what that was. Oh, nice. No, that wasn't nice. 
It's just a behind, so it doesn't matter in the end for Mumford. Uh, so, I might look to make... You know, oh, this is only two halves, isn't it, as well? I might look to bring on some fresh legs as well. Interchange. And let's see. Uh, who has... See, after half time, everyone is basically up with their fresh legs. Who was, like, Warnock, who was the most depleted? He's up to 99 stamina. So, I just uh, sip him again with Cruiser. I prefer Cruiser to be up there. So yeah, it doesn't really affect like you don't re you don't desperately need to make subs, but I'm just gonna bring on Menzel for the experience for him. Uh, he's a forward, I believe, so I might just take him up for Walker, who's an older player, might get a bit injured, so just gotta uh, be wary of him. And uh, yeah, everyone else they're not amazing, so I just leave it. You gotta have the best players on the field, pretty much. Uh, Jamison puts it in, no one is there, so I just punch it there <laughs> for whatever reason. Gone. That's holding the ball. Kieran Jack is gone. So here, I'll just look to do a torpedo. So show you. Okay, actually, I'm just going to play on here and handball it. Uh, that doesn't really... It doesn't work too well. Your players don't react quick enough. That's something... But in the end, it's going to work out here anyway. Um, hopefully. Uh, Troy Menzel nearly getting on. But again, nice handballing. Again, it was throwing the ball. Again, like I said, those throwing the ball calls, they're not too often, but you'll see them in the game. Uh, Yaren here. Mark it. Oh, good mark. But in the actual season, I probably won't do the games. I probably won't do two games, just an app cup because they're shorter. And yeah, just giving you insight because I might as well upload it all in one video than uploading two videos. It would just be easier for me and then you don't have to watch it all at once. You can, If it's too long, you can watch it. You can stop and do whatever else you need to do and then what's the next part whenever. So, Laidler taking the mark. Decent kick. Yeah, we should get on that. Uh, Simpson, look to play this out wide. Uh, ideally, now let's just knock it. No. That, did, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. But really, because they're going to run out of... Not run out of time, but there's not too much time left, being there's only two quarters. Um, with that, it shouldn't even be a quarter, then. It's just two halves. So, anyway. Uh, Henderson will look to take the mark. I uh, was in bad... I should have just went for the spoil, but he was in bad position anyway, so he wasn't going to win it. Uh, so, let's just going to see how they're going to kick this. And it's going to look to be... Uh, oh, that was close to missed by Goods. But Goods, a very reliable kick... And yeah, we just skip through that. You can see how close it was, like that very close to hitting the post. But you can see with that replay that it wasn't. Uh, we definitely at least need to get another behind. So we just make sure we get that like extra, like they need two goals to win. But we'll just hold up the ball a bit. But we shouldn't really time waste from here. Robinson putting in good position for bets. And he takes the mark. I'm not sure if he can score from here. But, you know, like I said, I'll just waste the time. But I might just go for a little chip there and take the mark for Warnock. Like I said, no doubt who at least uh, gets some score from here. But you can actually notice, oh, the time... Yeah, the time actually stops, if you see there, so you can't really time waste. So here, just put a little one to his left, especially that works out with the wind. So hopefully Warnock can do the do the job here. Use the wind. Nope, the wind it didn't... But the wind's not actually going one way. It's just a little bit, like, diagonally. Mostly it's just going... The wind's going our way, so we should look uh, to hold on to the result here, pretty much. Uh, again, Gibbs... Might look to just take this shot and might go for a torpedo to see how it goes. I'm not sure how much it's going to affect with the wind. You can see the wind is does it's showing there. There is wind. So Gibbs, oh, big kick. If you mark this, it should be over. Yeah, mark it. Cruiser, take as much time you can to let the time roll down. And <laughs> let's take it here. And Cruiser, just go straight. Finish it. Shouldn't miss from there and doesn't. So we should be taking this home now because Sydney need three goals to win the match. Uh, so it's a bit up and down results, I guess you can say. A loss against GWS, but then a win against Sydney. But we've got to just got to make sure we hold on to the result because they have a chance early. Uh, Jamison, go for the mark. Oh, well done. We should hold on to it now. Go for the big kick out wide there. Nice. Yaron should take the mark. Nice mark, Yaron there. So ideally, we should be really holding on to this now, but with not poor kicks like that. Uh, that's why you got to concentrate for the whole time. And obviously, live commentating, it's harder. And that probably affects my results slightly. But we are getting a win against Sydney right now. So, can't really complain right there. Again, a bad kick. Didn't really go where I wanted to. I can definitely improve. Uh, so then, later in the season, I might even push it up to hard when I know how the game works and all that kind of thing. But Gibb taking a nice mark for Gibbs. So, Menzel getting early possession. Nice little handball there. I might just handball. Don't worry about kicking. But now, obviously, you have to... And who's that? Is that Cruiser on the lead? Cruiser on the lead. Try to kick, but it didn't really end up working. And here, it ends with Judd. Uh, he'll try and feed it. 
he'll try and feed it. Is that Gibbs? No, I don't know. Bets. I was trying to say bets, but who knows? Let's just kick a goal. Let's just. I just have to do it. I gotta keep remembering it's different to the last game, and then bets puts it through. I've noticed the kicks are lower, but I'm really happy. It's hard to say because the goal kicking is harder. Uh, but when you get used to it, like you see there, it's fairly easy. Unless you're in a like on a tough angle, obviously it's going to be different. And could we score another late goal? I kicked it when I didn't want to. But here, let's see if we can get a crumbing goal. I haven't really got much of those, like on the ground, uh, too much. But anyway, we're probably gonna just the match is obviously going to end here. Judd, can he finish the game with the ball in his hands? Actually, just going to go for a long kick. See if we can get it in the hands of someone. Oh, it's just the sirens going to go. Oh, yeah, we're not going to, Jeff Gala, he's not going to make the distance from here, most likely. Might just go for the torpedo and see if he can make the distance. Gala, and he can't. And yeah, the match is over there. So we end up winning uh, by 19 points, 39 to 20. No super goal scored. We dominated the ball possession. Uh, so yeah, man of the match. Again, Judd. <laughs> Uh, he would have got the three votes there. Betts, two, and Yaron, three. Yeah, Yaron did really good. So he de definitely deserved to be in there. And you can see, we can see all the finances in the NAB Cup round one. You can see all the money there, the income. And actually, I'm not going to be able to play this over the weekend. So I'm, well, I'm going to go to my dad's house. I'm, so I'm not going to, because I have all my recording stuff here. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a sim career at my dad's house. I'll bring the game there. And what I'm going to do is simulate so I, so I know how like trades work. So I'm prepared when I get to that stage. And right now, I should actually check my emails and stuff because I, I'm not sure if I got them. Uh, yeah, report, tribunal, uh, wait issued, um, two matches. That was the previous match. I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm just going to leave it like that because then he'll be back for the first match anyway. So, But can you, do you have to do something for that? Guilty plea? Or you have to say guilt? Or you have to actually do it? Or do uh, issued, I'm just going to do guilty, see, so whatever, um, no, I'm just actually going to do appeal, so I can show you how it works, appeal, and see if anything works from that, yeah, I might come back in the next episode with that, tribunal appeal for your, has, however your appeal has been successful, and the suspension has been dropped as a result, so it worked there, um, so we have no player suspended, okay, that's all good, I'm still, I'm not sure how everything works, so, uh, bear me, bear with me through that time, so this video has gone almost 40 minutes, uh, but for whatever reason, if you like it this long, yeah, just leave in your comments and all that kind of thing. And I will be doing this. It most likely will go a bit longer because seasons in the season, there's four quarters. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this game and this episode, AFL Live 2 Career Mode. And if you do like it, please leave a comment. Share with your friends as well. Uh, people who don't know about AFL Live Career Modes on YouTube, uh, share it around. And yeah, leave in your comments uh, your thoughts on it. If you do like it live and non-edited so you can see the whole thing. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more episodes in this Carlton career mode in AFL Live 2.